Deutschland. Und jetzt auf Deutscher Kabelnetz. Tops Kugel. Tier 2. Mit English Audio. <lacht> Iced greens whilst flying around in their magical sphere. Stars are Toop and Chood's playground, and boy, do these two just love to play. As our intrepid heroes enjoy their time amongst the stars, cruising around in their little saucer, the control panel suddenly comes alive as an SOS signal is emitted from a nearby galaxy. Toop and Chood immediately swing into action to investigate. upon a planet that they have never been to before. 
At a first glance, one could be forgiven for never, ever wanting to. The rough terrain and volcanic landscape and dark, foreboding atmosphere fills our heroes with an uncomfortable feeling of dread. As they disembark from the sphere, cautiously they search for the source of the signal. An eerie quiet pervades the dark planet as they search the desolate surface, yet there is no sign of the distressed craft, although both of them get a strange feeling that they are being watched. Suddenly, from out of nowhere, spacecraft in laser fire! Tobin Chood have been led into an ambush! behind a rock cluster as Crump's evil cronies surround Chood. <laughs> Before Toad can do anything, a large spacecraft hovers overhead and sucks Chood off into the atmosphere. Toad muffles a scream and watches helplessly as the evil cronies board their crafts before flying off into the cosmos. On his return to the sphere, Tobe realizes that all is not well. Seven, eight, nine, oh. 
skills to get the sphere to fly again. Without Jules, if they're a composite, which powers and works the clocks through his cosmic composite, the sphere is virtually immobile. Although, Tobe knows that if he wires one clock to another clock, to another clock, to another clock, Before long, some of the sphere's panels begin to light up again. Just a few more adjustments, he says to himself, before the familiar sound of the anti-grav modulators fire into action. Tope takes to the cockpit once more, racking his exposed space monkey brain as to where the evil crump could have taken his trusted friend as he sets off to search the galaxy.
magical fields are too large to travel on foot, and the canopy too dense to search from above. So, Tope pulls a big lever on the side of the sphere. Crack! A small orange cube slowly emerges. And the sides fold down, revealing cogs, brackets, and chains, all shining and swirling and twirling about as if it were... Alive. Alive? Yes, alive. Gradually, it begins to metamorphosize into a small but fast and agile Topa Rover with big fudge off wheels. crashing through the undergrowth before rounding a mound where a clearing can be seen. With no cover, Tope maneuvers carefully. Suddenly, in the distance, he sees a flash of light. From the other side of the clearing, Crump is taking a break from torturing his prisoner, Chode. As he walks into the clearing, an unusual phenomenon begins to happen. A flash of light blinds the evil one and knocks him to the ground. A figure appears, and the light becomes brighter as the force of it becomes more and more intense until the light becomes form, form becomes matter, and matter becomes a person, a person Crump has not seen in a long, long time. His long, dead, evil father, Stromp. <laughs> <laughs> well, here I am, a blast from the past The mixer of old, dark shadows I cast From death I evoke, hatred and fear To help in the present, so here I appear <laughs> And so, my son, you got to be cold Go back to your lair and kill that chill
gone. And so, with his words still ringing in his ears, Crop decides to take his father's advice and kill Jode. Meanwhile, on the other side of the clearing, Tope is baffled by the commotion, although clearly recognizes the figure that now stands before him. Tope stands, steps forward, and as he does so, steps up on a twig. Snap! The echo of which alerts Crump to Tope's presence. Their eyes lock, rooted to the spot. Who would move first? Crump begins to run at Tope. Tope begins to run at Crump. And then from out of the ether, the silly Cybern army materialize and begin their attack. upon Tope, the Cybern army were upon him, sweeping him up and carrying him off into the distance. Tope knew that his battle with Crump would have to wait for another day, before turning his attention to the serious business of rescuing his captured friend. Crump's lair was a short sprint from where he was standing. <laughs> On entering the lair, Tope was met with a vortex. Which held Jude in a dematerialized state. To hasten to the control panel and started the process of bringing his friend back to this world. Before long, Jude's body began to appear from out of the ether, and when the machine had finally powered down, a dynamic duo were once again reunited. After greeting each other after their ordeal, Tove and Jones were surrounded by their army of friends, the Silly Cybans. And it was soon decided, collectively, that they would have a big party back on Spore Vedas 1, where the Cyban sap and the ice greens would flow freely in celebration of their royal triumph over the evil Crump. How ruddy. Marvelous. <laughs> 